Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing well. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with our VGC Series 8 content. Today featuring a team based all around the Ice Rider Calyrex Pokemon. So, you can see here, the team is on your screen. There'll be a poker paste down in the description below, and if you stick around till the end of the episode, which I really hope you do today, there will be a rental code at the end, so you can try this team out for yourself and have a bit of ice meme fun for yourself. Obviously, the team is uh, is named, it is a bit of a meme, but it's also something that I've wanted to try out for a little while now. Obviously, the Dragon, uh, Dragapult and Colossal combination, we know all about that. I've scarfed Dragapult to give us a jump on pretty much most things, including Regieleki in the format. Um, it just means we can get the Surf off pretty easily. The only thing we need to be a little bit aware of, a bit careful of, is uh, Sucker Punch from things like Urshifu. Could be a bit problematic. Um, then the next part of the team is the Dusclops Calyrex. I'll leave that in the details till we get into the battles because that is the really the, the creme de la creme of this team and this is where this team kind of started from and then we've got tagged on the end just for a bit of support is the Tapu Fini and the Rillaboom. As I say, there is a Pogobiz down below. The rent will be at the end and without further ado let's get into our first match of the day. Okay, we got Poker Champ up first, playing a team of Kyogre, Kingdra, Metagross, Pikachu, Tornadus, and Indeedee. So, um, what are we looking at? We got two fake out users on my opponent's team, Pikachu. Um, what am I talking about? Two. We got one fake out user, Pikachu, on the team. It could be a potential G Max Pokemon. You know, the G Max is going to be something that we're going to have to be aware of. It can cause us all sorts of issues. Uh, they've got that Tornoga combination as well, as well as the Kingdra that can cause Rillaboom, all sorts of issues. Um, <clears throat> have they got a way to sub Trick Room? Definitely with the Tornadus. Um, but Dragapult should outspeed. Well, it's not going to outspeed the Kingdra in the rain, I don't think, because Kingdra hits. Well, modest Kingdra at will. Timid Kingdra, no, I don't think so. I don't think so because we're no, we should, we should outspeed Kingdra. But then again, do we want to bring Colossal to a water matchup? I don't think so, really. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll lead with Tapu Fini. Uh, no, we won't. We'll lead with Rillaboom. Yeah, we'll lead with Rilla, Dusclops. Tapu Fini and Calyrex. So this is going to be, yeah, probably the one that we want to go with today and go with our Ice Rider mode. Metagross is going to be a bit of an issue, obviously, with no um, fire type to kind of hit it with, but Calyrex can deal with it. You know, it depends if my opponent goes down the route of uh, utilizing the Metagross as their maximum, maybe identifying that the Calyrex is going to be the, the Pokemon that we're going to kind of rely on here because it's just a bit too tough for us to... Um, make the most of the colossal in these situations um okay so we've got a couple of options here we can nail a kyogre with a grassy glide um or we can go for a trick room and fake out the tornadoes and just allow the kyogre to water spout it's not going to be able to take down um the dust clops the problem the worry for me would be if the kyogre maxes and we lose the ability to uh, get a Trick Room up, which could put us in a little bit of an awkward spot. But we'll go for that. I think we've got to avoid the taunt at all costs. And try and take... Yeah, the Kyogre's maxing. It's gone after the Dusclops. I mean, we're going to be able to stop... We're going to be able to stop the Tornadus. Turn one, stop the trick room here, uh, the tailwind, but we're not going to be able to get a trick room up, which is a little bit of a shame. I mean, we're still going to have Rillaboom active next turn, which is always good to weaken the Kyogre. Unless they go after the Rillaboom, you know? Do they go after the Rillaboom? Don't know. Max Geyser. This is something I should have calced with Dusclops. I don't know if we're going to take it. Oh, Dusclops, you hero. You hero, Dusclops. I love you so much. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, we're in the driving seat now. We've got all the, everything we need all set up. We can wood hammer the Kyogre. Um, did we pain split? I mean, we have to wood hammer the Kyogre. Uh, and pain split into the Tornadus. It's going to be a shame if we lose Dusclops now. But 
We may not. We may not. The Woodhammer should take down the Ogre. I really want to get um, Calyrex on the field now because we want to utilize this Leer and uh, Glacial Lance combination, which is where the team kind of came from, you know? Uh, I was talking with... Come on, take the Rillaboom down, please. Please take that. Yes. We love it. Okay, there we go. The problem would be is if we see a taunt from the Tornadus onto our Dusclops, which would shut down the ability for us to... Um, Get the Leer off, but we've got that board position set up quite nicely now, which is ideal. Uh, the max Pokemon's gone, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, and Glacial Lance is just an absolute nuts move. Yeah. If we can get the Leer off, we're, we're sitting in such a great position, you know? We are sitting in such a great position. Um, I'm going to try it. For the entertainment of this episode, we're going to try it. If we get taunted, it's not so good. But uh, hopefully, we don't see the taunt. Hopefully, my opponent's more concerned about trying to get some damage on the board. We don't see it. Here we go. We don't even need to max our Ice Rider. Here it is, peeps. It is the perfect combination. The best combo. Sick combo that you're going to see in this format. Bada bing. Bye bye everything. Welcome boosts. That's two boosts we're going to get for the price of none. <laughs> I don't know how that works out, but there we go. It's going to be the quickest match in history now that we get this. This is why it's important. I think one of the things that I would would look at is uh, making sure that Dusclops 99% of the time is able to take that max, that max uh, geyser from the Kyogre. Because if you cannot take that move... Then it's just, you know, you're you're kind of on to a hide and to nothing because then you're relying on having redirection in the team. The team makeup looks a little bit different. Um I'm gonna see the Indeedy come out, but I'd imagine we might see the forfeit from my opponent. But nice quick one today. Um but just showing the actual utility of this, like this combination is just it's just ridiculous. Put it this way: a minus one Glacial Lance Life Orb can take down a max Charizard. Pretty nasty. We'll just do it anyway, just for the the you know the the sake because it's like there's really no stopping this once you start getting the ball rolling. And if you get a double KO the first turn, we haven't even maxed yet, you know? This is the thing, we haven't maxed. We haven't needed to max. We don't need to max. You don't need to max with it. This is why Colossal really complements it quite nicely, or something like Charizard could complement this pairing quite nicely, because you're going to really want to be maxing your other Pokemon. You're wanting to going to be utilizing Glacial Lance as your kind of main kind of attacking option. With that Leer, you're going to want to be like just chucking it out, um, getting the double KOs. Um, and then if you need to max it, I guess you can, but it's not always something I'm like, it's not in the forefront of my mind with this, but uh, it's just nice to be able to share these things with you peeps. Um, it is something that I kind of... It was the brainchild between myself and uh, Johnny. Johnny Hacks. Um, very good friend of mine. Very good player. Ta Italian player. Um, and we've been like talking about it for the last week and a bit now. And just working on a team. And I, I just... You know, I could work on it and work on it and work on it. And it might not be the finished, polished article that I want it to be. But I'm sure I'll get there in the end. But I just wanted to put it up here today. Because I think this team functions quite nicely it's a little bit of fun it's a little bit of light-hearted um <clears throat> building away from all of the serious stuff and you know these combinations are quite nice to bring to the table especially for the community to say look this is what you can do with this combination of pokemon like i say it's pretty tough on dusclops i think you need some heavy like protection for it around the ghost types or in the format you know uh ghost rider calyrex not so great Oh, the battle room. Here we go. Here we go. Colin Hire. What a guy. So, Colin is a great player. Obviously, a great streamer, content creator as well. But I've known Colin for a long time. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Maybe he's streaming. Maybe this is on stream. Maybe we can get some uh, some highlights here. But we're seeing the Pikachu again. So, the Pikachu popping up again. And this kind of, like, uh, common Tornogo build. I think the problem is here is if we see, like, Urshifu Tornadus... Um, it could be a little bit of a problem. You, you know, we could go Colossal Dragapult, but again, I don't feel like against Kyogre, it's like the best thing to be to be to be running. You know, uh, it could be something that we run in the back potentially. Um, 
I think Dusclops we have to bring. I think Rillaboom you have to bring. Like the, 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 the lead that I would be most worried about here would be uh, Urshifu and Tornadus. Like 100%. Um, we'll bring Calyrex. What's our last Mon going to be? I mean, we could bring Colossal, but I don't really feel like it's going to do that much. I think probably Tapu Fini would be the better one. It gives us a bit of room against <coughs> um, like the water switchings if it gets a little bit awkward, but hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully we can get to the point where we can get the Dusclops set up next to the the, the uh, Calyrex Ice Rider. I keep wanting to call it Glastria, but obviously it's just part Glastria. Um... And if we can get that set up with the Leer intact, then yeah, I think it, it could be quite quite useful. So we're going to see that, that same lead as we saw in that first game. The thing is, I don't think this is going to be as easy as that first game. No disrespect to my first opponent, but you know, when you're going up against a player of Ka Colin's caliber, you know, he's going to know what to expect. So I don't think it's going to be as, as straightforward as, um, as that last one. So we've got the Ogre, we've got the Tornadus. We need to stop the taunt. That's our big goal here, and hopefully we can stop. We can we can take the the Kyogre. Boosted Max Geyser because I'm guessing that's what's going to come out. I think you have to go for that. Um, and hopefully little old Klops can hang on. Problem is though, I don't think we'll get away with. Okay, there's a tornado switching out. Which makes sense. Sinner are going to come in. Okay. Minus one, Rillaboom, which I don't mind. Are we just going to take a water spout then? I mean, the taunt off the field makes me feel so much better right now. And there's a fake out. I think we have to go for it, though. We have to go for that. There's a water spout. That's fine. I really don't mind that at all. Take that all day long. All day long. And there's the trick of the room. So, what are we going to do? We're going to pain split into the Ogre. Do I try and get Glastria on the field now? I would like to get Glastria out as soon as possible because we want to make sure we're taking advantage of these trick room turns. We're going to pain split onto the Kyogre. Um, can we? I mean, we could max. We could max the boom. I don't think it's the play, though. I think Kyogre might switch out. If it does, that's... Not bad. I think we could. Uh, problem is, you turning onto Kyogre. We're bringing glass. Uh, yeah, we're bringing Glastria, and it's going to take a massive chunk. We're better off switching it the next turn. In all honesty, um, we could max, or we could just switch in now. I'm going to U-turn out on the Kyogre slot. Yeah. Fake out the boom, yeah, that's fine. I mean, take down the relic boom. That's what we really. That's what I really want to see. That is what I want to see. The pain split is ideal. There's the water spout again. Please take boom down. Please take boom down. No, boom's just too strong. Boom, we need you off the field. Come on, come on, boom. We need you off the field. I'm gonna have to pain split into the incineroar now, and I think probably just wood hammer into the ogre. I think that's the best idea for us. And then we can... Oh, we could just U-turn out onto the Incineroar slot. I think that's probably the best idea. Or oh, just Woodhammer the Kyogre. Is he going to keep it in? Is he going to keep it in? That's the thing. Do we U-turn out onto the Incineroar? Because is he going to part and shot? I don't think he does. I think he probably keeps... I'm going to Grassy Glide, because we're going to get good damage into it anyway. We'll reduce the damage of the Water Spout. Kyogre's going to protect. This is what we want. I want the I want the Incineroar to take down the Rillaboom. <clears throat> we want the Rillaboom off the field. So there we'll get some nice health back from this Incineroar. Perfect. Please take down Boom. Come on. Parting shot. Come on. <laughs> I need you to go down. I need you to go down, Boom. Because now we're going to see the Incineroar come back in for the Kyogre. And we're probably going to get taunt. Taunt baited from... I think the Tornadus will taunt us. As we see the Incineroar come in on the other slot. So I think what we'll do is... 
I mean, we could stay in with Dusclops and go for... Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll... We'll go for a Nightshade into the Kyogre, expecting the, the Incineroar to come in there. Will you turn out into the Tornadus? And get Boom off the field. Keep it around for later if we need to. Get Glassery out on the field. Now we're so deep into these Trick Room turns. We're so far behind. Which is not ideal. I'm going to admit. Like Colin's doing a really good job of kind of not allowing us to get the uh, the board position that we kind of want on the field. Uh, but we do get to see the Incineral come in which is ideal. So the Intimidate's already on the field. Which is perfect for when... Uh, Glastria comes on. Uh, we're going to see a taunt. Oh, we're not going to see a taunt. We're going to see a hurricane. Huh. Hurricane coming out. Okay. Glastria, I don't really want to... Uh, I don't really want to bring Glastria in on a hurricane, to be honest. Hmm. Uh, not Glastria, Calyrex. Especially if we get confused. It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Um, is it better to bring in Tapu Fini and then switch back to Rillaboom and try and get the Trick Room? I don't know. No, we'll bring in Calyrex. We're going to take a Hurricane. We're going to take it. We'll have to. We'll have to. We'll have to. Unless they go after the Dusclops. Which they maybe do. I don't know. Oh, they go after the Dusclops. Yeah, just want damage onto it. Okay, so that's not so bad. Um, Cinero getting a bit of health back. Okay, so we've still got Leah as a, an option. I think we go for it. I think we go for the Leah and the, the Glacial Lance. It's not going to pick up the knockout on Incineral, but the fact is... Whatever comes in, if we don't see a taunt, is going to get absolutely tanked by this Leah Glacial Lance. Are we going to see the taunt now? I don't think we do. Ah, uh, we do. Okay. It's still not the worst thing in the world. It's still not the worst thing in the world, honestly. Because the Glacial Lance, it's going to mean that we can actually remove the Tornado. So we can switch out Dusclops for later in this game. And that damage to Cartana is just disgusting. Imagine if we got Leah on that. At least we get a plus one as well, so it mitigates the Intimidate coming in. <clears throat> and the fact is, my opponent still has their max, so I think you're more likely to go... Hmm, where are you going with your max Pokemon here? I don't think it's Kyogre. I think you're... Uh, it's hard to max Cartana in this situation as well, you know? Um, Dimension sent back to normal. Grassy terrain ends, which is perfect timing. So we don't really want to be bringing... Um, Rillaboom back onto the field just yet, I don't think. I think, well, well. I mean, Kyogre's in a, a, a phenomenal spot, isn't it? <sighs> do we do Max Quake into Cartana and hope that they bring in the Incineral, get the special defense boost? Yeah, I think. Bring Tapu Fini in. Max Quake. I think that's what we do. And then we try and carve out an end game with Dusclops where we can get it in. On the field, get the Trick Room up. And carve out a win condition that way. If Contana stays on the field, we take it down. If Incineral comes in, we take it down. It doesn't look like they're switching out at all. I think the Kyogre. We're going to see probably a double up here into Glastria. And the thing is, we've still, uh, it's going to be Cartana. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Now, what are we going to see from Cartana? Max Steel Spike? It has to be, right? Has to be. Max Steel Spike, Water Spout. Would you go after the Dusclops, though? I don't think you would. Maybe, though. Maybe you're scared of, like, proccing a weakness policy, you know? A lot of players run weakness policy on, on um, Ice Rider Calyrex. 
still going to be close because Cortana is going to do a chunk of damage to us. Hopefully not enough to put us in water spout range. Nah, it shouldn't be. Okay. That's alright. The Kyogre defense boost definitely helps it out against Rillaboom. Yeah, I mean, we take that. It's not as comfortable as we'd, we'd like to be taking it, for sure. But at the same time, getting rid of the Cortana makes this match so much easier for us. We've got Incineroar to come back in now. We are plus one. Problem is, though, like we're not going to be able to take another Water Spout or get the Trick Room up now um, with Calyrex. So it's likely what we're going to have to do is sack Calyrex now, protect Finny, get Rillaboom onto the field. That'll be enough to get rid of the Ogre. And then Finny can take care of the Incineral. So we should be all right, I think. Um, if it plays out in my head like that, it might not. It might not. We might see some other tricks. But we're going to have to let Calyrex go down here. I think that's the, 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 the best thing that we can do for everyone involved uh, I mean if we can get the knockout onto Incineroar somehow here that would be incredible I just don't see it happening probably gonna see a fake out into the Finny just to protect yeah and then the water spout again it's a pretty free hit yeah it's gonna be enough even with the boost we're not taking this nah we needed just that little bit more health. But I mean, Calyrex, it's kind of done its job, you know, dealing with the, the Cortana. Colin did made it very difficult for us to utilize our... Utilize... Um, our Trick Room. He made it very difficult. And that's the problem. Like, when your Trick Room turns aren't being utilized, it is extremely difficult to make use of them. Now the, the question is... Uh, <laughs> do we see... Is, have we got enough with Finny to take down the Insin? Because, you know, the play from him is protect Kyogre. And then attack. Attack uh, Rillaboom with Incineroar. But I'm hoping, like, though. Yeah, we're not going to see that. So, Grassy Glide going to be enough to get the Kyogre. Ooh, not enough. Not enough. Water Spout coming out. Not going to do enough, though, um, at all. But hopefully, this is my thinking, like, the Muddy Water should be enough to get the Incineroar with the Rain Boost. That would be ideal, and then we don't really need to worry. It's not quite enough to get the Incin, but at this point, it's kind of locked, so um, we can close this one up. But what an exciting opponent to have on this episode, you know? Like, Colin is someone I've, I've admired as a player for a long time. His content's great. Obviously, there's maybe some of you that watch him. I'm sure there is. Uh, but he's a great player in general. And um, I remember playing him at Worlds in 2014. He was uh, my only loss in Swiss. Um, he was playing a badass Aegislash team. And it was very hard to uh, break down. But um, yeah, Colin's a great guy and uh, making very good content. So it's a pleasure to actually feature him on the channel, you know. Um, it'd be nice to do a collab with him in future. Colin, if you're listening, <laughs> get in touch. You're a good guy. It would be great and everyone would enjoy it. Okay, good game to Colin. And uh, like I say, what a nice way to end the episode today. And uh, the team's done not too bad, you know. It's uh, it's not done too bad. It's, uh, it's not the ice meme. Is, <laughs> it's not so much of a meme. We didn't get to feature the Colossal, but I mean, that's the thing. Like, I didn't really want to feature the Colossal too much. It's kind of a mod in there. To help out with the Calyrex against the, the 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 more threatening stuff. So I've got a really fast mode, offensive mode that I can just set up and just blast through things, clear the way for Dusclops and Calyrex Ice Rider coming after that, and potentially just layer Glacial Lance everything. But um, I'm glad we got to see the 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 back end of that anyway. So what I'm going to do actually, I need to get a rental team up so i need to trade this team over to my other cart and then put it up there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this now and we'll be right back with the rental team when i've traded everything across and we've done that friends so i'll see you in a moment 
Right, friends, here is the rental team from today's episode. You're probably a little bit confused. I definitely am. I'm in different clothes. I probably look a little bit different. The lighting's different. It is a different day where I'm doing this. I was planning on putting this over to my other card where I have another Nintendo online account. Unfortunately, I haven't got far enough in the game to get the Reigns of Unity to get the Calyrex Ice Rider over there. So I've had to take down the Eveltal team. I can throw that team up on my other card if there are you out there that want to play that. So let me know down in the comment section below and obviously other teams in future I'll be able to put over to that card. There will be limitations on some of the restricteds, but for the majority of them, it will be fine. If you try out this team, I hope you have a lot of fun. It is a bit of fun. It's not super serious, but I think there are elements within this team that are very good obviously the Leia and the glacial lance combination between the dusclops and the calyrex is incredible so that's something to take advantage of scoff dragapult's a bit of fun as well the shadow ball actually picks up the knockout onto ghost rider calyrex so you're gonna outspeed it uh, you've got the opportunity to outspeed regieleki with the scarf as well a bunch of stuff uh, even with chlorophyll um, even in Tailwind, you're going to outspeed them to get Colossal where it needs to with the Scarf. That was the main reason. We've seen a lot of speed control in this format very early on, so kind of helps you get around that one. Um, and as I've mentioned before, I think the last two slots are definitely interchangeable. Rotom Wash, Amoongus could work there. There are a lot of options, but um, all in all, the team is very fun. Like I said, it's got some nice text in it. Hope you have a lot of fun with it. And uh, we'll wrap it up there. We'll be back next week, as always, with more VG content, more teams to play around with. And as I've always mentioned throughout the, the weeks doing this so far, even though I'm sticking to kind of standard teams, it would be great to get your opinion on what restrictors you'd like to see featured. Obviously, Dialga is going to be next week, 100%. Maybe Palkia as well. So we have a, a bit of room to play around with. Still lots of suggestions that I can take into consideration. We'll try and get through these restricteds and these really good teams as, as soon as we can. So thanks for tuning in, friends. Have a great weekend, whatever you're up to. And I'll catch you for another episode very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.